right, so we're here to try out Cardboard Town, which I have not played. I haven't even watched a video for it. The only reason that I've been itching to play this and I've had the code for a little while now is a description of the game on Steam, the first sentence. Cardboard Town is a city building card game. Okay, good, I'm sold. I don't need to read anything else. Nothing else matters. Let's hit play. Uh, in the options, there's a setting for tutorial. So I've got that on because we're gonna need it because I've never played it. Uh, I don't know anything. So I'm just gonna hit play on this screen. Don't know what's going on. Apparently we're gonna play in a classic mode. Looks like there's a bunch of modes to unlock. I literally have not even seen this screen yet. It's been sitting installed on Steam for a while and I hadn't loaded up. We've got a variety of things. I suppose these might be resources or something like that. 20 by 20, one by one. All right, I don't know. Classic cardboard town, vote multiplier times one. Quilly Teens Town? Oh, we should rename this. What do we name our first city? So it's a cardboard city. Like often we go to, you know, we've got our goat, like Petra, Brussels, Belgium stuff, cardboard. Is there something? Something we can do there. Schmussels, New Vegas, Cat City, Willville. Oh, Cat City, because it's like made out of cardboard boxes. Corrugatedville. You know what? I kind of like that, uh, Mensch. Corrugatedville. All right. Your board size increases whenever it's filled to a certain degree. What do you think? 180? 360? The thing it doesn't root is radians. Hard to do that math in my head. Okay. So a building just built itself. We've got cards. I'm saying I'm waiting for the tutorial because I have no idea what Koru's Gate. Oh, that's funny, Roller. Radians are right. Um, I actually uh, think radians are actually the superior way to um, measure angles and stuff. I'm like fully sold on that, but it is a little harder to like just remember certain things in our head. Rotate in place. Press R to rotate a structure. Most buildings must be, must connect to a road. Okay. Well, we have road cards. One by two, one by one. Small trade. Discard a card, draw a card. Advance the trouble meter by one. Oh, okay. I'm assuming this is a trouble meter because it looks troubling. And trailer park. Okay, see, this is just making me want to play frickin' um, Suburbia. Suburbia is a beautiful, brilliant uh, board game where you're building a city. Okay, so it looks like maybe Trailer Park reduces maybe sort of crime safety. Oh, there you go, we can mouse over. Yeah, safety. So reduces safety by one, increases population by eight. It looks like we're at one of 15 right now. I don't know, I'm gonna play Trailer Park. So do I click it? Do I drag it? Oh, okay, drag and then R to rotate. I'll put it here. Oh yeah, what's the start building? Good idea. Hmm. Oh. Overbuild. You lose one leaf when you destroy a forest. Oh. So that is environment. So we must have plopped down in the forest. Uh, it doesn't look like I can click on a building to get any more info for it. But I guess, visually, this does look great. It definitely has that like hand painted texture style. I like the little boxy people running around too. Like, excellent aesthetic. Okay. Um, I don't know if that cost me money. Did the trailer park cost me one? Can I look at the discard pile? Yeah, it cost me $1. So it looks like I had two over there. The rest of my cards are all free. But I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a small trade. I know it's going to advance the uh, trouble meter, whatever that is. I'm going to pick this road card to discard. Draw something else and I draw an identical card. Okay, well, that was worth it. Um, let's go, I'm going to expand away from the forest here. Oh, I love the like desk look. Um, this reminds me of the game I made for Ludum Nair that was semi inspired by things like suburbia. Um, it was a hex based tile placement thing about running a business and it very much had the, the aesthetics of being on a tabletop. I can't remember one of my own game names. Okay, sometimes I can click on a card. Okay, I don't think I can click on it while it's animating up. Now, the other thing here is I guess there's no rotation for this because I guess this doesn't actually have an in inherent direction. Okay, so I'm gonna end turn. So I increase my trouble meter by one, whatever that means. Tutorial could be maybe more tutorially. So I can re 
Oop, population increase your population to gain more max money okay so i'm two two presumably when i get the 15 pops i'll have an extra one okay um so i can re-roll this for trouble choose a new card so i'm assuming this is i'm choosing a new card to add to my deck so trailer so a basic house costs two and only gives me four pop a trailer park we've seen before only costs one costs us a safety but increases our pop by eight and then the condo costs three which means it actually wouldn't even be possible for me to play this right now that's only one by one dramatically increase the population but decreases the uh populate or the, the the environment card um we could trailer park again but we'd probably be really looking for um another safety oh if any resource drops below minus 20 it's game over okay so we can actually drop this a fair bit growth industries thank you great game i really like that game i thought it went great i'm gonna take another trailer park it goes in my hand immediately. I don't have two cards in my hand. Lose two power, draw two cards, flip a coin, heads, gain a power back. Anyway, I'll play power through. I, must, I think I got it back because I think I had three. So went down by one. I think I did. I think that was a heads. So park ah, increases the environment. So that's good. Counter the uh, trailer parks here. So we cut down the trees and then we're going to we're going to go ahead and rebuild the park afterwards. OK, no, see, now I'm clicking and it's not going into placement mode. Oh, I don't have the money for it. No. I'm going to place two side by side. Oh, OK. We leveled up, choose an upgrade, hide your power. When you replace a building, it costs water, gain, and power. Long way to go. When your hand is empty the first time in a day, generate two road cards. I like trees. When you replace a red building, gain plus one environment. I have no idea which one of these are great. Oh, my head's in the way of the budget. Yeah. I mean, it's not covering much. I can maybe go here. Um... I mean, I don't know which one of my buildings are red. Like, none of these appear to be red currently. But maybe what we could do is take this and see about drafting more red. I like trees. What? Oh, found successful. Does this count down? Gain plus one pop at the end of your day for 14 days. Oh, OK. For the next 14 days, I'm going to get extra pop every day, no matter what. Get a random disaster at the end of the festival. And then I like trees. When you place a red building, gain plus one. So again, we'll maybe look for red buildings. Oh, I like the little car. But, 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 but. Um, so let's do another trailer park here. Oh, and then the road costs money, so I'm not going to put that down. Do I keep these cards in my hand, I wonder, when I hit next day? I do. Okay. And it just drew, I guess it drew one card just now. Trouble. Your trouble meter increases by one at the end of your day. And it looks like some is on the way. Look out. Okay, I'm not going to put in more trailer parks. Coal power plant, plus five power, minus two environment. Although, again, we can go to minus 20 here. I wonder, though, if there's a, something that happens if you're in the negatives. Um, I don't have enough money. for. Oh, no, that's not true. We have three of three right now. You know what? Theoretically, we've got an engine for generating more environment, right? With our I like trees. Well, I don't know what a red building looks like still. I don't know if the card itself will be red. So I'm going to go for the uh, the coal power plant. Why not? Now, currently I have park in my hand, so I could just play that. Which I think is just what I'll do. It'll cost me the three. Why there's a green border. Huh. Lovely place. Placing a population building in a green area provides a bonus for each green square. Hold tab to view auras. Oh! This is generating a green aura around it. Okay. This score, the amount of votes you collected at this mayor term, tiles until expansion. Okay, listen, I'm digging this. Okay, next day. 
Population boom. Generates a house and residence card in your hand. Advanced trouble meter by two. Destroy this card. Okay, so we are going to get the reshuffles. Pay with the weight. Discard a card and generate three road tiles. Destroy this card. Crisis management. Discard two cards. Play this. Remove a random negative condition. I'm worried about of advancing the trouble meter more, although I kind of like the idea of some residences around the park. This is where you restart the game because you learn something like that. Yeah, for the, the green placement. Because we have, I don't think we, we took a maximum advantage. You vote boom because of the, uh, the explosives. I kind of want to do this because like we could fight against the trouble meter, but at some point we need to know what happens when this meter maxes out so we can make decisions about it. And I want some population stuff. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and play this. So at the end of our turn, trouble goes up by one. So this will trigger this turn. OK, residents are too expensive for us right now, but that's fine. Saying that a lot. I'm going to build a who's here. So, yeah, it'll generate one extra pop, which actually will level us up. The next one, we need 75. Long way to go. Mayor button. Click on the mayor button to draw cards. It function. Its function can be modified with upgrade. Oh, there's green button over here. Was that there before? I wonder if it just unlocked. Oh, cost me four. Okay. Probably wasn't there if it cost four to draw a card. Eric, thank you very much for the gift subs. Thank you so much. When your hand is empty first, I mean, right now we're just collecting tons of cards. Normally card draw is really good, but I'm not sure we need more. You cannot play more than three cards in a single day. Gain plus two max money. I mean, these, this sort of thing never works out very well in Slay the Spire, right? You get, I can't remember what the item is, but you can't play more than six cards. We get plus one energy. It tends to be a trap. I suspect this will feel like a trap, although if we keep drafting very expensive cards, then maybe. Reparations. Whenever you flip a coin and get tails, get plus one water. I mean, as our money goes up, presumably we'll be able to empty our car our hand more consistently. So I'm wondering if it's still worth grabbing a long way to go, even though it's not going to be that useful right this second. So yeah, I think I suspect going slow might be a trap. Um, we had one coin flip so far, but that's it. And for all we know, we'll get heads all the time and this will never do anything. So I'll take this and hopefully at some point it'll be useful. You're counting down. We got that. We got that. That meter is going to fill up. Discard your hand, draw three cards. I'm not going to do this. I think I'm just going to drop, um, public residence, two by one. Oh, it costs four, which I don't have enough for right now. But we can put down the trailer park. So I will do that here. And then we'll plan on putting the residence back there afterwards. I'm out of cash. I don't want to do a change of plans. We are at minus one safety. Oh, a red light is on. Red alert. When a resource drops below zero, you gain a red alert until that resource is positive again. Three red alerts mean game over. Oh, I didn't mouse over this before. Also, if any resource drops below minus 20, it's game over. OK, OK. Not playing a red card in time also causes a permanent red alert. Oh, our red card. I wonder if the trouble was going to generate a red card in my hand. That you have to play or something bad happens. And then the I like trees will trigger then. Short circuit. You cannot place a building that generates power. Okay. Disaster. Got it. I'm sorry. Is that there for 13 turns? Wait, click to manage this disaster. Oh. Then resources. So I have one of these. Or officer. So I have one officer. Or we can spend a bunch of resources to remove the disaster. So right now I can't play the coal power plant. Now that might be fine. Maybe you're okay with not playing that right away. Fire station costs us water, will increase our security, which should get rid of this red alert and gives me another officer to use abilities on. Now, the residence right now, I mean, it could place there for the extra pop. I mean, this would resolve this red alert, but I'm not sure it's a problem right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead with plan place the residence. Oh, I can't because it's going to need road access. Now, ideally, we place it here and have a road kind of snake around and then still put another building that takes advantage of this. But I guess I can't do that until I build a road around there anyway. I don't know. Maybe I just build a fire station. Ooh, it's got a blue aura. I wonder what that does. I wonder if I should place it here to give us maximum possibilities. But that would involve using this place over here, which we might want to leave the road for. 
I wonder if road distance ever matters at any point. Or you can make the stupidest, snakiest road you ever want. Yeah, blue arrow might give water. So green was pop. Well, let's see. Do we get a tutorial pop-up for it? Ah! Oh, wait. Handling troubles. Placing a population building in a teal area causes the trouble meter to decrease by one for each building. Oh! Because people feel safe near the fire department. Look at these cute little trucks, too. Oh, my God. It's actually so adorable. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm going to put the camera any higher than this? I guess not. Okay. Um, so that's all my money. Okay, so that is counting down indeed. I just drew a road card. This music is great. Okay, let's plan on the idea that we will be placing a residence down over here. So I guess we'll just build some roads this turn. That's not quite going to work. Hold on. I need this one. And then that. Where's the money? Behind. Uh, yeah, it's right here. This is my money right there. Zero four. I mean, I'm hiding the, the coin icon, but zero four. Boop. So next day, I drew a road. Put that down there, which costs all my money. Okay. We can still resolve the pro power problem whenever we want and then put down the power plant, but I've had other things to do. We do have a free road, but I'm not sure where I want to put it, so I may as well hold on to it for now. Quill's hiding the money like a real mayor. <laughs> like, where's my button to accept bribes? That's the button I want. Okay, a park, which does boost population. So it's viable here and can extend the park stuff. Wait. Is it gonna retroactively add population for my existing houses? Okay, so the park adds two. I'm placing it in a green zone, which theoretically would add one more. Population 62, are we gonna go to 65 or? Oh shit, it does. Okay. Okay. So just stacking parks next to each other is actually pretty viable. I have one money left over, nothing to do. We could change the plans at this point. Well, I guess I could play the free road first, then change the plans and have one dollar left over. It would cycle the power plant, but I can't play it right now anyway. Again, I could very easily resolve this problem whenever, but I'm not feeling the need to rush this. So I think I like this idea. Um, where are we going to build this road? Like, I think maybe I'll extend over here because I want to keep this area a little bit more clear and flexible so that we can do teal things to counter the trouble meter. Change of plans, play. We still have 13 cards. I thought it said draw three cards. Discard your hand, draw three cards. What? I know I'm bad at math. My passive? Oh, it triggered long way to go. Well, that's interesting timing. Well, that's really interesting. I would not have expected that to work, but I guess technically for a microsecond, we had no cards in our hand. Okay, that's actually really good. That's that's actually a really sweet combo. Um, all right, with one money, I can't build any of these. I do have these road cards over here. Now, we don't know what our hand limit is. We haven't seen it, anything like that yet. Wouldn't surprise me if there was one, maybe around 10. Like, if I was worried about hitting my hand limit, I'd, I'd play these road cards right now. But since I don't know what I want to do with them yet, I'm thinking I'm just going to hold on to them. Although, maybe I should play it just to spend $1. Maybe I should play this road card here. I think maybe I'll I'll just continue this down. Yeah, I'm assuming the money doesn't carry over, so we should spend that one. Okay, next day. We draw a bus stop, plus eight pops, advance the trouble meter by three, and then draw a road card. Now, we can go ahead and lower the trouble meter over here by building some population stuff near the fire station, which I think seems like a fairly good idea. I'm assuming the clinic probably has a teal radius as well. 
Is that teal? I think it. I think it's the same one. It's just a different um, color version of it. This actually might not be a bad idea, because then we can go and put some more buildings behind this. Very nimby. Oh, because the bus station. Toll roads. Whenever you build a road, you have a 25% chance to gain a dollar. All red buildings cost two less. Okay. Oh, we do have a red building. Maybe the coal power plant. Left-handed. Whenever you use the mayor button over here, which draws me a card, decrease the cost of a random building in your hand by one. You know what? I'm going to take the people's man. I know I can't play. Oh, maybe it's just red because of that. As I said, I don't think the price went down. Maybe is this not red? I mean, it's got a blue background, but the art looks red. You think the power line is red because you can't use it. Whole card is red for a red card. So we still haven't seen a red card. Okay, we're learning the mechanics ish. Um, I'm I might put the bus stop down because if I put it over here, yes, it'll raise the trouble meter by three, but it's going to go down by one because of the station itself. Yeah, that's all our money. We still have the free road, but no real reason for me to play it right now, I feel like. So we're going to go to the next one. New star quest. Reach 100 population. Oh, okay. I wonder if a star quest is like um, for meta achievements, like unlocking things permanently or something like that. We have five money now. We've got solar panels. So we got a few things that want some power. And again, oh, hey, hold on. There's a star. Reach 100 population. Something festival. A random disaster at the end of the festival. I don't know if it's the same festival. All right, I'm going to go ahead and ah, there's only eight turns left. Can we really just suck it up? Or do we start playing this? This will give us negative power, but it's not the end of the world. Now, you know what? We've got we got shit to do. I'm going to go and spend one of these officers to get rid of that. And I'm thinking we play the clinic and the solar panel. Could play the clinic here. Oh, that's still just going to hit. Yeah, that's going to hit two buildings and we'll need a little chunk of road. But I think that might be OK. Because this should drop... Yeah, this will drop trouble by two. And then we'll put that on the solar panel somewhere. It doesn't have an aura. It's not a population card. Oh, this is... Uh, yeah, it's double overlap. So I don't think we want to put it over here. Sorry, drop, drop it by three. If I said... I think I might have said two. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it over here. Oh, it doesn't need road access. I can put this anywhere I want. I'm going to hide it way back here next to some obstructions that I probably don't want to build near anyway. With the coin, we got tails, no extra power for us, but at least we're not negative power anymore. OK, we're out of cash. That's fine. Road tile, not great. We could spend to draw a car, but I mean, it's so expensive. I guess to be prepping for next turn. I don't think there's any reason to play the tr the coal power plant right now. So I think we will use the mayor card for the first time to draw a card, even though it's going to cost most of our money. Oh, what does this do? Press the mayor button achievement. Industrial water well. OK, well, we can't afford it this turn. That's fine. Um, I guess I may as well put down the road. Somewhere, maybe I'll just extend it over here because I don't know what we're doing with it. You know, and I'm, I'm just worried about being in the way. Uh, maybe we'll do this because we can open up maybe a building spot right there. There, we did we did look at a power that gave us a bonus every time we got tails. We didn't take it. Now it's like, oh, maybe we should have, but. <gasps> okay, these cards are red. Destroy all cards in your hand, draw three cards. Destroy all cards in your hand. I mean, I like deck Minip. That does sound a little difficult to deal with. 
it costs power and wow. Park and garage. Oh, these are all negative ish. All sides must connect to a road. I think this number in the top right, that's probably how many turns we've got to play it. Furniture factory must be placed over a forest. This unlocks a new resource. Well, it's going to be a while before we can play it because it's very expensive. I think what we do is we put down the we, we take the parking garage and maybe we place it over here and surround it. Yeah, OK, it's red. It is. Oh, I forgot. We did have the discount. Red cards have a counter on them. If you don't play them until the counter runs out, you gain a red alert. OK. So, yeah, that should be fine. So, oh, it's got a red border, too. I'm wondering if that's good or bad. Well, in this case, it doesn't matter because we've got to surround. Maybe in this case, it's just showing us that we need to surround it by roads. So that's clearly what we're going to have to work on for the parking garage. Um, I don't want to. Well, I guess I could put this one down now and build up, but let's see. We've got a fountain which costs us water. We would go negative, but we gain some things that might be fine. Do you have an aura around you? You do have a green aura around you. Um, the industrial water well. See, has this red. Ah, oh, red cost you population. That's what it does. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, I won't have enough money for everything. That's fine. I'm going to build the road out here. I'm going to say later on. I can't do it now because I don't have the money. Oh, I can't go into attempted placement mode. I was going to say put it kind of over here out in the way where we're not going to want population. Uh, coal power plant also has it. I'm thinking we do this because then I can build a road over here and this is all an area where no one wants to live. It is going to advance the trouble meter. Which means we will get an event at the end of this turn, but I've got some officers to deal with it if it turns out to be a problem. Dirty places placing a residential building in a red area causes you to gain less residents for each red square. Got it. Toxic chemicals when you place a building that reduces uh, the environment lose a pop. Okay, so that's our new disaster. Well, I mean, that's not ideal because the industrial water well and the parking garage would both do that. Now we can get rid of it. Three officers or one of the oh man, that is brutal. That's real bad. The skyscraper costs seven. So we can't do that right now. That's for sure. I, I think we're going to have to manage disaster because I think we, we're going to have to place some of these things down that have the negative leaves. I could just draw a card this turn. Although then annoyingly, I might be left with one dollar and nothing good to do with it, which would feel pretty unoptimal. Although that's also going to be the case if I just play the industrial water well. No, minus one pops not the end of the world. I don't know. Thing is, we don't like we don't even need the industrial water well in theory here. Well, it gives us water and then that opens up the possibility of playing the fountain. Maybe I do just plop this guy down and take the one pop hit. Well, no, I think I think we have to go and mitigate this disaster. This is going to be too annoying. Let's get rid of it immediately. So we did get a red alert because we're minus water, but that's fine because we're going to fix that immediately with a water well like that. OK. And I still can't play this. So next day with one money left over. Outsourcing, draw three cards. Well, better than the mayor's button. Don't have much of a choice right now. I mean, I can play the fountain, but I don't think we need to play it immediately. So we'll outsource instead. There's a population boom. Generates a house residence in your hand. Advance the troublemaker by two. Yeah, let's do it. Because we could place the house. Placing it here would actually lower the trouble meter by two. Which seems like a half decent idea. Organized crime. Whenever you play a card, gain a stack of crime. 
Lose one safety whenever you gain five stacks of crime. Where did this per trigger from? Oh, was it from the festival ending? Because I say the trouble meter didn't fill up, but I think it's the festival ending. I need a third officer. Oh my God, that's expensive. Oh my God, that's brutal. Where are all my road cards? You know, this is a really bad situation for us to be in. Well, we might just have to see about pushing up our population just to unlock another card for my deck. I've got power. I can't afford the skyscraper, unfortunately. So I guess we'll put down... Can you trade the parking garage? That's an interesting question. Nope. Nope. I can't. All right. Let's... Let's do some population boosting here. This will give me a stack of crime. New star quest. Destroy three cards. But we got the yeah, 100 pop. Choose a festival. Savings awareness. Add two water supply cards to your deck. Gain plus two energy. Remove drought condition or gain plus one water. Destroy this card. Firefighting. Put out all fires or draw a card. Destroy this card. Gains plus one um, safety. But Mayor Appreciation Day gives me an extra officer, which we could use to defeat organized crime. So let's put Mayor Appreciation Day. Excellent. And we'll use that here. And yeah, if that cost keeps going up, Every time we use it, we are going to have a going to become rapidly impossible to defeat. Decrease the trouble made by one, lose two power. Right, because classically trouble goes down when there's a blackout. Man, my road cards being missing out is annoying. I, we can't place this parking garage until we get some freaking roads going on. One money left over. I mean, I got the power. Maybe I should just play the blackout. But I'm thinking it might be worth doing a small trade just to see if we get something playable. I'll small trade away the skyscraper since I can't play it right now. It raises trouble, but it can lower it. Pave the way. There we go. Discard a card. Generate three road cards. Destroy this card. Where's the... Oh, oh, that's right. I dealt with it. I was going to say, where's the crime meter at? Um, I can get rid of the water tower for now. I'm good on water. Well, until I play the fountain, but still. Because this means if I go and place... Hmm. And it's probably fine. Place this here. And the next turn, I can go and finish the paving right there so we can get rid of the parking garage. I guess I might as well play Blackout. I can't do it now. What, the parking garage? Because I'm broke. Yeah, I may have enough roads now. Yeah, but let's say all sides. So that might be enough. We might not need to fully enclose it. We're going to find out. But it'll have to be next turn because I still need a dollar. Oh, we're finally reshuffling our deck. This grew quick, quickly. I can put it down now. That's really good info to have. So we may as well, we will get one uh, red alert because we're going to be down on environment, but we've got ways to fix that. Garage is green money. Yeah, but I'm assuming, yeah, it's just because it's a discount. I didn't gain money from placing the garage. It's just discount. It costs three normally. I have something giving it minus two, leading to one. I didn't fail the quest. I think this is just a tutorial. Failing to build a red card before countdown runs out results in a red alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just that was a weird way of listing it. I was like, what? I didn't fail it. Uh, small force, five bucks to environment. Store, add small trade to your deck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And some population. Upgrade. Remove two random cards from a deck. Add two random high level buildings to this deck. 
I don't like the random part of it, but... I'm thinking Forester Upgrade. Although we need, do need to keep pumping up our population. That's how we, you know, appear to progress the game mostly. We need Twitch integration for this so you guys can vote. Why don't you like random? Yeah. Maybe we should just for the lulls. Store seems OP. Does it seem OP? I mean, small trade doesn't seem like a fantastic card. Because it basically costs you two cards from your hand, although it does let you, you know, discard something you don't need right now. And in advance of the troublemaker. So I don't love small trade. It's not card draw. It's card manipulation. It's net card loss. Card draw is always good. It's not card draw. Don't think of it that way. It's hand disadvantage, right? It, it does let you to manipulate your hand a little bit, but it's hand disadvantage and increases the trouble meter. Yeah, high level cards might cost more than five, which might be a problem right now. Let's just go for small forest. Well, I do kind of want to see what, what we get. Fuck it. You know what? We need this. Our first game, what we're looking for is more information. So the upgrade will help with that. Going big, increase the cost of all building cards by three for the rest of the game. Gain plus one random resource whenever you draw a card. That's pretty interesting. This actually would have comboed really nicely with the, I get plus two money per turn, but can only play three cards per turn. That plus going big would be wonderful. Whenever you gain a level, gain one of each resource. And then the mare button again. Which is actually kind of interesting. I think I'm going to do this. I think gaining one of each resource is actually going to be quite strong. All right, let's try the upgrade. I don't know if we'll know what happened. No, we literally don't know what happened. Okay, great. Okay, no disasters happening. Four money. Uh, I mean, I guess Fountain Plus House is a way to go here. Kind of... Well, we might need some road over there. This will cost me two, but I think that's okay. Can you see your deck? Uh, you can. But yeah, I kind of wish it like told me what cards we lost and what cards we gained. Does anyone see anything new? I mean, unless I got like a second coal power plant or something. And... I already had a fire station. We built one. We had a condo. Wait, did you say gazebo? I don't think we've seen gazebo. Where'd you see Gazebo? I mean, maybe when you... I, I don't know. The cards seem to... You play them and then they get discarded over here. Although maybe that's just the road cards. The road cards have a darker background. Maybe these blue ones don't go in the discard. Let's see what happens. I'm going to play a house. Um, right. Right over here. I'm going to play this house here. No, it definitely goes into the discard. I thought, I thought we already had the skyscraper. No, we already had the skyscraper, right? Or am I getting confused with the condo? No, we had the skyscraper. That's the one I discarded recently. We already had one. I have no idea what that did for us. So... Might not be a terrible idea to build a uh, fire station somewhere that would lower some emergencies. Could double up, but then that becomes awkward for placing other things. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it down here for now, and we can build a road behind, put some more residential stuff in this area.
Yeah, we had the cool power plant before, but we have two in the deck now. So I'm thinking maybe it's the condo. I think we had the condo as well. But maybe we got a second power plant and I don't know. Something. I can't build it here unless I put a road in first, but I could just build it over here, which seems fine. So we can extend the road over here since I'm not going to want residential buildings. Yeah, I can just put a ton of residential buildings behind here. We'll save the free road. So the forest doesn't need road access. I wonder if it acts like this forest, like and it can be bulldozed later, but maybe you don't want it. Although it doesn't, I don't think these existing forests give you, um, like give you, they don't give you the green aura. Hang on, that's interesting. This tall building over here, if it's only half covered by the green aura, And it's not plus one pop. I thought the green aura said when you put a residence in it, it gets plus one population, but it must scale up based on the size of the building. This is a three story building, so maybe it's three extra pop per green tile. Look at that. You build it over the existing one. It doesn't tell me that I'm going to be losing nature stuff. I don't know if it told us before. That's an interesting thing here. This trailer park is giving us two per green tile. Yeah, maybe percentage base. Yeah, I thought it was plus one, but I guess it just says you get more. Whatever, I'm just going to put it here. Yeah, what's our star thing? Yeah, the population. We could put both the park and the fountain down. Uh, but road um, access is starting to be a bit of a thing. That's fine. Winning the game. Complete the star quest, earn one of the mega projects, which lets you win the game. Oh, okay. Uh, we need... I've got the one road tile. Ideally, I'd like to put it here because it's going to have some double overlap stuff, which is kind of nice. Although, maybe we want to push back the trouble meter. How about... I go and place a road there. And then residence right in here which is going to push down the trouble meter by one. Um, I think that bus just took a jump. You see that? Land of Peace. Gain plus one safety whenever you celebrate a festival. Hardcore cycling. Whenever you destroy a card, flip a coin. Heads, draw a card. Clean town. Whenever, oh, whenever you gain green. Oh, that would have been great last turn because we just pumped it up a whole bunch. Gain plus two pop. I like f this free card draw is nice. I don't know how often we destroy cards, but it does happen. I think there's going to be a festival that happens over here. Dark quest. The land of peace might trigger there. All right, let's do this because I feel like when we get to 250 pops, I think that that trophy is a festival um i guess i could small trade the skyscraper since i can't still can't play it okay i don't have enough money for that so we're just gonna next day yeah i did see there was a third star destroy three cards, but right now it's reached 250 population. There was that, right? That's Star Quest, but that's not what I'm seeing over here. 
I don't know. Well, this would give me a second red alert if I played the clinic right now, so I don't think I should. Well, I guess I can play both because I can play the power plant first. Um, hmm. Well, this actually would be safe here. Okay. Let's play this here. This will advance the trouble meeker. People's will, generate a random red building in your hand. Okay, well, it's not something that sticks around, but something we have to deal with. Sketchy pawn shop, minus three power, minus three safety, draw a card. We've got a timer on it. This would give me a second red alert, which I'm not keen on. So I'm thinking of doing the clinic first. Hmm. Oh, this is just lower. Ah. Dang it. I should have clinicked first if I was going to put it over here, but I wasn't thinking of that. I wasn't thinking of the aura. If I put it here, which would have lowered the trouble meter, and then I wouldn't have triggered a trouble card over here. Now it feels like it'd be a little waste. Or I put it somewhere where it's not going to lower trouble right now, but will soon. I'm going to put it here. And we can stack build. Um, oh, the road limitations are really crazy. We, I, we, I think we may have front loaded our road cards. What I'd like to do is place it in such a way that my later buildings, like not, not waste some of this negative trouble meter right now, but place it somewhere where I'm likely to place more buildings soon. If I put it here, it's very likely to put a building in there soon. I don't know. Let's do that. Not great, but what are you going to do? So would like one more of these. I think this is going to be a good case to draw a card. Not really ideal here. Okay, where's the road expansion? I feel like over here so that we can get in a position to start building some stuff back here and take advantage of all these parks or here. This puts us in a good place to build a house here that it's kind of the same. I knew I was going to get a house, which is one by one. Then I put it here and go there. But if we get a two by one building. No, here's going to be better. So let's do that. We're going to waste one dollar. I empty my hand. I do just to draw two cards. It's true. OK, we have to choose a red card to throw in here. Slums, tons of population, but huge drain on resources. Movie theater, minus seven power. Well, we got more power coming, plus seven pop. Doomsday bunker. That's a lot of security, which would let us deal with the pawn shop. But that negative water, negative power is pretty brutal. Again, we've got another power station here, although I think it's only plus three, so it's not quite there yet. But And this is too expensive anyway. I propose we do the Doomsday Bunker. Oh, I thought, okay, the coal power plant is plus five power. Yeah, okay. So we're fine, except for the water side of it. Okay, I'm gonna extend the road out that way, I think. And the coal power plant. Oh yeah, it's gotta face the road. Um, hmm. You know what? Maybe that's fine. I can place it at the end here. It would mean bulldozing the trees. Maybe here. And then I can put the coal power plant at the end of it. 
Oh, I forgot my passive reduced the cost by two. We could have done the, um... Yep, that's true. Although I still like the security boost from the uh, Doomsday Bunker. Okay. Done that. So we still have minus one water, which is really bad with the Doomsday Bunker. Um, I guess I could put down the sketchy pawn shop now. It doesn't have a radius. I don't think it benefits from anything anywhere. It does need road access. I think I'm just going to put it here. So that'll be our second red alert. We trigger your festival, though. Okay. Gain plus Money one. Oh, hey, MJ, essential. thank you. I asked my German friend to pick a number between 8 and 10, but he refused. It's good, MJ. I like it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nine. Uh, more money. Good. Oh, hey, hold on. Water supply. We need water. I mean, it's only plus one, but it is free to play. And it gains two energy. We've got lots of it right now. Generate three or two three tile roads in your hand. I mean, we can use more roads, but I think we have to address our water shortage over here. I think we've got to, even though I'm going to curse myself for not having the roads. But I, we got to. Okay. Um, we do have the uh, industrial water well in our hand to help with the water, although the Doomsday Bunker will still send us negative, but that's going to have to be okay. Hmm. It does have the red border. It's okay. I think I'll stick it here. And then... Oh, two's an awkward amount to end with. That is such a waste. Can't draw a card. Can't play either one of these two. We can still we can put some buildings in here. I mean, it'll be awkward to build a road up to it, but that, that we'll get like huge bonuses. Or now you do need road access, huh? I say we could go and fight the trouble meter a little bit. I don't like the idea of blocking off this road, although we can build a new one out of here. Pay attention, there's a new subscriber. This is a spot as well that's possible. I'm not as worried about blocking off this road. Only minus one trouble. I think I'm going to take the minus two trouble. I think these trouble cards are real bad. This will give us two red alerts. That might be fine. And I've got the money for it. Oh, it does give security around it, which would counter some trouble. Oh, I hadn't actually looked into that. That's very interesting. So, Baru, thanks for the sub. I do have the one road tile in hand, which gives us some possibilities for placement here. It doesn't give us pop, because I could put a one road tile there and place it right here. But it's not a pop card and won't benefit from these. Um... This, we probably want to run road through there. I'm assuming. I mean, I could just put it here. A road bunker covering troublemaker? What do you mean tr covering troublemaker? I mean, do you mean the red areas? Maybe this is fine. Yeah, I could put it next to the power plant. It doesn't get negatives, but it would be nice. Uh, I guess that's true. I could build it here with the idea of extending the road, and then I can put some residential buildings nearby later. So it doesn't benefit us right now. 
But that's maybe okay. You know what? Sure. Done. Yeah, we got two red alerts going on right now because we got two things in negative. Nuclear option! Wait, did we take the when we destroy cards? No, we didn't. Firefighting. Put out all fires. So, I'm a little worried. We haven't seen fires yet. I think I'm going to take the road. I'm a little worried, though. You know we're going to get a fire the second we don't take this. Fire can't go through walls. It's not a ghost. Power through. Lose two power. I Oh, no, I don't have tons of power. I forgot about the bunker. Oh. Huh. Well, I may as well build this road tile here. Maybe we'll extend this area. Or over here. If I build road here, then it opens us up to starting to take advantage of the population auras over here. Oh, we can dump our card. I mean, we'd go even more negative on power, but we would draw some cards. Or, yeah, or generate road cards. Sorry, not. I could go and keep building this up, but I think the thing to do might be to go and get us out of this little corner over here. Finally. Okay. Power situation is going to get a little harder, but... Okay, well, we got one of the power back. That helps. Uh. Huh. 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 Maybe this, actually. Oh, it's only the first time, so yeah, we don't want to do this again. All right. Park. Okay, the negative crime is fine. We can get ourselves a bunch of extra population. Not quite get us next level. Or I could put it in one of these blue areas. For the, pa the trouble meter. Um, I think I'm just going to go here. We're not about to pop a trouble this turn. Oh, hold on. I'm going to have tons of money. I should draw first, I think. It does have a victory condition if we fill up all these stars. Water supply. There we go. Well, we don't have drought, but I can gain a water from this. I mean, I might as well. Still doesn't fix our water shortage, but it's coming along. Um, I want a trigger long way to go and play this. Now, presumably, I wonder if I can play this without discarding a card. Probably not, because it does ask, but I, you know, we should find out what happens when you play this with an empty hand. All right, I'm going to put down the trailer park here. Um, although maybe I should play it in a blue area if I can, because if I play small trade, it's going to cause the trouble to proc this turn. So I'm going to put it over here instead. No, OK, for science, it does not let you play it when you don't have a card to discard. So you enslave the spire, you would be able to. So then I probably would put this elsewhere, but I want to defend against the troublemaker thing. We do need to get our power up, so I think I want to play the solar panel as is. Okay. I'm just going to put it over here with the other solar panels. Flip a coin. Ah. I think I'm going to small trade away the road. This will empty my hand, which will generate more road cards. It didn't this time. And yeah, trouble metered us, but. Interesting. So it's inconsistent here. The one that said discard your hand, draw four cards or whatever it was, did proc the long way to go. But small trade did not, even though my hand was definitely empty. Didn't put you at a true zero state. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if that's something they'll patch to make more consistent. One way or t other. 
Well, I can play down the road and that will empty my hand. I mean, I can draw a card here, but I may as well use this power first. Yes to this. And I'm going to use this. Generate a house, which, um, oh, it's two for the house. Never mind. Spends all my money. I'm going to save these. Next turn. Oh, yeah. What was this magnet? Troublemaker advances by an extra one at the end of the day. Oh, for crying out loud. But I can't. I can't spend. Okay. Oh my god, am I gonna have to put a big giant arrow? <laughs> the money right there? Alright, I'll move myself over a little bit. At the risk of covering some of my cards, I'll move myself over a little bit more so you can see the coin. Although I suspect people will still ask the question. Because they're too busy looking at my beautiful face. So now I would like the pop boost. Is this the first time this turn that I discarded my hand? Hmm. I'm going to build one more over here, and then we can build a little cul-de-sac. Which means butt of the bag. And then I'm going to put a little bit that... Oh, I could have saved that. Right. So I have three money and nothing I can do with it. A little annoying. And it's going to go up by two, theoretically. All I drew is a zero-cost road tile. Well, let's first place it so that I get my two draw. Then we'll spend the four and draw another road tile. Well, there's all my road tiles. We've been kind of road-starved for a while. That is no longer the case. So I'm just going to kind of blind build out some areas. I don't know that I want to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to keep these zero cost roads here since we've already procced that anyway. Water tower. Well, that'll fix one of our red alerts. Thank goodness. Does it have an aura? It does not. And it looks like it doesn't care about its position either. So I'm going to put it way out in the middle of nowhere here by the solar panels. Now, I could have used the Mare Mutton, but I want to resolve this. We're down to one red alert. I guess I may as well play these two road tiles because this is a new day. We haven't triggered the long way to go. I don't know. There was not a visual indicator on that. It doesn't gray out or anything once it's been used, right? That might be desirable. No. It was a little wobble when it activates, but that's it. Uh, I may as well use the $1 card here. And then there's no reason for me to play this because we've already proc this. So, next day. Now we have a drought. <laughs> Cards that have a water cost require two additional water. Awesome. Um, well, both of these have water costs, which is poor. Place two different buildings this day before placing this building. It only costs two. It'll actually be free for me. I think I'll take the post office. And then I'm going to do this. So the trailer park is going to be nice and cheap. It's going to be easy to play that and another building on some turn. For now, I'm just going to place this road here. Like this, this road, I'm going to place it somewhere. You know, we'll keep making some sort of snaky roady things. So the card is red because it's on a timer. I've got six turns to play this or something happens. We don't know what. We haven't let one of these fail yet. These are mandatory placement cards. We can't discard them. So I could play the trailer park, but I think I'm not gonna because I really I need to save up two buildings in my hand so that I can plop down the post office soon. Does post office have an aura? Uh, looks like no. 
and is unaffected by auras. Wait. I'm sorry. Is he counting roads as buildings? Oh. Okay. New beginning. Destroy a card, flip a coin. Heads, draw a card. Trail park, condo. We currently have a lot of leaves. I actually wouldn't mind a condo. We can't play it this turn, but that's fine. Let's get a trailer park down. If I go over... Oh, we don't have... See, we don't have a trouble meter right now. So I'd like to not waste this what's the combo shape condo shape one by one okay so we can put it in there late although the road see the two by one shape here is perfect for filling this in but i can't put the condo i mean i could put the condo there but then we'd have to extend uh, i could build the zero road maybe i'll do that actually here's kind of fine Out of money? What was this one? Oh yeah, the drought. So fire is probably just another one of those things over there. I would kind of like to click this, then I wouldn't be able to afford the condo. Oh shit! Condo has a red aura? Huh. I mean, this de delays trouble by one. I have to build a road to access over here. Maybe I'll do that. We don't get to take advantage of that. Safety square later. Not with a residential. And then it sort of spoils that one as well. No, I don't like that. We've got road tiles. I mean, I could just put it somewhere where it's not gaining any adjacency bonuses just to keep it out of the trouble. But I don't want to build it next to the power plant. Like, I don't want to give it a red aura, but I could put it, you know, just on the green spot. Yeah, it's the doomsday bunker over here. I could build it on the road, or what I could do... I mean, I could go and build two road tiles here, and then put it here so it's even more out of the way. Um, it would, like, eat all these blue areas, but I guess I got plenty of other blue areas. I don't know. We'll do this. Achievement for 200 pop. Double trouble. Doubles the duration of a random disaster. If you don't have a disaster, get a random one. Also, had we had a triggered long way to go? Or did this prevent me from getting an empty hand? Yeah, this is definitely a card we want to destroy. It's just going to sit here and be annoying. I think it also prevented us from getting our long way to go. But what actually generated it? Is it the condo? Didn't say anything about it on the card. I have all this money I can't do anything with. You got it at 200 pop? Does that always happen?
I kind of actually just want a, uh, a one-tile road right there. I'd love it now. A one-tile road right there. Put the house there. Well, I guess I may as well put it here. And we can still plan on doing that going forward. Okay, we're nearly at the next milestone. Still have power shortages. Residences, they're two by one. Actually, that's not awful. Choose an upgrade. Back to factories. As long as your power is above 20, gain 50% chance to gain a plus one random resource at the end of your turn. Damn, that's nice. When you obtain this upgrade, add two condos to your hand. So, I mean, we recognize that there's issues with condos, but they do pack a lot of people in them. And then left-handed. I mean, we've used this freaking mare button quite often. I'm starting to see the value of left-handed. Especially as our money goes up. Actually, I'm, yeah. I do like the booster pack, honestly. Because what we can do is, like, if we go, like, condo park, condo park, condo park over here, it really wouldn't be too bad. Reminds me of the game you played, you made, Paper Towns. Well, Paper Towns is my very first Let Him Dare game ever. You know, I kind of think we might do that. Because then if I take this road like this, I mean, I don't have enough money for it. Oh, maybe I should just play the house. But yeah, next turn, we can put a condo here as long as we're gapped by one. And I don't remember if there's like one by one little parks or anything like that, but we can just shove them all over here. That will raise or pop quite quickly. So I don't have anything from the last money, unfortunately. Change of plans. Discard your hand, draw three cards. We know this will proc that, but we're going to go condo here. Go house here. Almost out of the uh, trouble magnet. I think I'm gonna plan B now, which should trigger this because it did last time. It did. Although the last time as well, I think it may have been timed with a uh, reshuffle. I'm wondering if that affected the timing in some weird way. Trouble, yeah, bus stop. Trouble meter goes up by three. Oof. I don't know if we can do that right now. Um, I will do this in preparation of placing down more condos in this area. And then I may as well save these road tiles for next turn just to have maximum options. I just drew another one of those, but we're about to level up. So I'm going to place this condo down over here. New star quest have four resources over one. Okay, so I need some power. Meanwhile, we draw the furniture factory that eats power like crazy. Ugh! Oh, that's not going to be great. This unlocks a new resource. So is this... Is that not water? Is that oil? But why would you get that from a furniture factory? Oh, that's a good point. Well, it might overflow, but yeah, I guess if it's going to generate trouble regardless... And it has no or oh, it does have a population boost. So actually, we should put it somewhere. I put it here. And then this we could have a road snake over there and put a trailer park back here. That might be fine. I mean, furniture is the new resource makes the most sense. All right. Gain a stack of disease every day. Lose one environment for each stack. Lost environment is regained after the stacks have been cleared. How do you clear the stack of disease? I think there's a card that lets you do it. Do we just purge this disaster? This seems really bad. And yet, yeah, the trouble meter did overflow. I feel like I should probably purge the disaster. This seems terrible. I mean, it's going to cost us 12 resources to do it. Versus what? 
gains a stack every day, and then we lose an environment for each stack. So is this, like, am I going to lose one environment, then I'm going to lose two for a net of three, then I'm going to lose three more environment for a net of minus six, and so on and so forth? I know, I'm so, it's terrible timing. All I need to do is generate one power, and I can finish a star quest. Maybe we cross our fingers that we generate, we draw a power card next turn to finish this and then pay it off. Maybe it's just accidentally. Maybe it's just, oh, yeah, because I don't think it's actually taking it away. So it must be, I still have the four and it's going to count as a minus one, minus two and go negative. Okay. All right. It's, you're right. So what this is actually saying, it's not lose one for each stack. It's, your your environment is counting as minus one for each stack or something like that. I was reading it in a different way. Okay, so I don't want to play. Oh, this is going to be such a bad turn. I think I'm just going to end turn here. Ugh. Give me a power card. It's not a power card. You're not what I'm looking for either. Seems like Furniture Factory might complete Star Quest. How would this complete Star Quest? resources and it gives an extra resource that's interesting except i can't now i don't have the money i don't know what the aura is because we can't we can't preview it but you're right because i was thinking it means we have to have all four positive but no it's any four pipe leak lose water at the end of the day uh uh, Furniture Factory has no aura. Oh, must be placed over a forest. Right. Sorry, and it does have an aura. I can place it here. Yeah, environment will be zero now. Yeah, because of our shitty timing. Well... Industry. Industry cards added to your deck. You lose one oil at the beginning of each day. Works like base resource. You get an alert. Oh my god. So this just unlocks something completely different. Oil barrel. Play a card if destroyed. Okay, if I play this, I, I gain a card. If I destroy this card, I get oil and power. Gain population equals to your current oil times two. We create jobs. If environment is below zero, draw a card. If it's below minus ten, draw three. I think I'll just go create jobs for now. Although, if I got the card draw now, I still wouldn't have the power. So if I play this now. Oop. Business fair, draw an additional card for four days. That's really nice. I can draw two cards now and get the officer, but the officer doesn't seem to be enough to fix anything anymore. I'll take the card draw. Oh, I have an incinerate. Shit, I could have taken the thing and destroyed it. And our star quest... Oh, I have two active star quests, although... Do I still have the star quest for... Have four positive resources? It doesn't show anymore. But I have two grayed out stars. That's slightly confusing. Zero count as a positive? No, it's still grayed out. And I thought it said to have at least one. I don't think it said positive. Okay, trouble meter is currently fine. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll road there and there and trailer park back there. 
getting a new upgrade level. Every turn card you play, draw a card. I'm assuming this persists between turns. Whenever you discard a road card, gain plus one random resource. Oh, hello. When your hand is empty, flip a coin. Heads decrease trouble meter. Um, I'm going to take barefoot here. I think that's some real possibilities for us. Thrift, discard your most expensive card, reduce your trouble meter by one. Well, you know what? I can't play the industrial water well right now. If I discard it, there's a 50... There's a, I just get plus one re resource. Oh, it's when you discard a road card. Hold on. Oh, uh, that's annoying. If I could if I could have played this, then I could thrift the road, but I can't. Do I want to destroy? I could destroy the water well and this road tile. Oh, that's right. I played a, by playing a red card. I get plus one environment. That's what fixed our problem, isn't it? Or we go next, play the well, then hopefully thrift the road. But we might have to play another card as well. Oh yeah, this will work, yep. Yeah. Play the well. Which is a big old red area, so I'll just put it... Um, yeah, I think I'll just put it over here. That's fine. Now, that will... Give us a second red alert, but so be it. A thrift. Oh, give me plus one water. That's not the one I needed. Ah. All right, I'm going to incinerate, which will also empty our hand, which should draw two road cards to replace that. I may as well play these because I've got. Uh, actually, I could just pay to draw. Let's just do that. I think I'm going to go <sighs> sketchy pawn shop. Mineral mine's tempting. Now, do this. I'm going to play it, which won't generate an extra negative, which is good. Yeah, I think I might put it here, so. We're going to take change of plans and discard a bunch of road cards, getting some free resources. I mean, that's cool. Um, let's let's go ahead and play the coal power plant first. Of course I got more free water. Of course I got more free water. Well, I can build another coal power plant, which will get rid of one of our negatives. It's okay, it's only the environment. It doesn't matter. Funny how this drought card isn't bothering us, despite the... Like, what the hell, man? Now my deck's only water or er, only road cards. So that's fine. Okay, residents. Probably uh, it'd be nice to bring down the trouble meter as well, which I could do with a little road expansion over here. I need the road to wrap around back here. Oops. 
Actually, what we'll do... I can build two residences. Build you here. Do this one for minus one trouble. And we'll do this one for even more pop injection. Okay. Oh yeah, environment is dipping. So, I don't know, we actually might have positive environment, except for the disease. That's slightly annoying. I guess we're going to spam out all these roads to get more free road draws. Or hit the mayor button! I should hit the mayor button. I'll still have enough, potentially. Yep, alright. So, um... Put you here. You here. There. And there. And draw one more roads. But we don't have to play these. Oh, the magnet's gone, so we're still just going up at one. Erg. Hoose. Kind of want to build, leave this spot here for a two by one building. But I'll probably do this for the anti troublemaker. And then we'll just drop some roads to draw more roads. We get the mine, the quarry that needs to be met near a mountain. That's going to be set up now. And let's stretch that out. And then we'll just enter. May I reuse twice? Yeah, presumably, yeah. Then I wouldn't have any money, but that's okay. Gas station. Minus one power plus six pop. Destroy every oil, oil barrel in your hand. That's interesting. We don't have any oil barrels, but we do know they have the destroy proc. We could still pop this down. It's a three by one. Oh, facing that way. do this for minus two troublemaker I could build a little road there and extend it out and maybe get no I wouldn't get more more negative troublemaker still similar to Dorf Romantic yeah actually the other game we might play today is very similar to Dorf Romantic I haven't played it yet it's like panorama or something like that uh we haven't procced the oh let me do no let me place down these roads first Proc that. Then we're going to hit the mayor button. Power through. Lose two power. Draw two cards of the coin. Potentially gain a power. Um. Sure. Ah. There's still zero power and we just drew some more roads. I may as well play these and spend my money. this anyway, but let me just expand this. Again, same logic. We might want to wait a minute. Hold on. This is generating two road cards. That's why I have so many goddamn roads. It's creating more and filling the deck with them. Uh, I was thinking it was drawing them from my deck. So we actually don't want to trigger this anymore. Or destroy more road cards. So I think that's red because normally it's a minus three. But in this case, it's more because of the drought. I'm just going to hit this mirror button a second time. Oh, uh, we've ruined our deck with this. We've ruined our deck. We can discard them for resources, yeah. If we had more synergy to generate that. Um... Okay, we don't have to play it this turn. Generate incinerate hand. Okay, it won't tell me what that is. Oh, there we go. I can do this. Uh, that will generate a trouble this turn, though, if I do this. And say so I could small trade, discard a road to trigger this to get plus one to our resource. Um, but that would give me too much trouble. So let's wait a second. It's still there. Oh, did it not generate it in my hand? Generate incinerate in hand.
Regenerate Incinerate in hand. It drew me a new beginning. Maybe the hand was full? I have nine cards in hand. Nine feels like an odd max. But I'm going to start blowing up some roads here. We didn't get heads, so we didn't draw a card. I guess no matter what, we're about the trouble. So I may as well small trade. Organized crime. When you play a card, gain a stack of crime. Lose safety whenever you gain five stacks of crime. I don't love it. I think I'm... I mean, it's money sitting around. This will generate an extra stack of crime maybe earlier than I'm willing to deal with it, though. I think I'm just going to next day. Ah! Could destroy a bunch of road cards. Elementary school. Oh, it's a new resource. Education buildings must be placed on a green area. It unlocks a new resource. Fudge it. Let's do it. It will cost me five water because of the drought. Oh, wait. Yeah. Why is it the minus five not in red? I've got time to place this. Drought's not ended. It's still here. Oh, three turns. So I want to get the environment higher before this might kill us, but I kind of want to wait on that. Yeah, now I really regret burning these events. If the cost goes up to burn them, we really want to try to deal with them as much as possible. more power. Hey, there we go. Okay. Um, does anyone see where the stack of crime shows up? Oh, there's a little two there. There it is. Okay. And yeah, we're at minus 13. So when this goes away, we'd be breaking even on environment and probably not dying. I don't know. Fudge it. Do I just build the school? Oh, we don't have enough money now. I don't think I want to build the road. We can draw a card. We're still going to be okay. If Oh, you're right. If three resources go, we lose. Oral Bell. Play, draw a card. If destroyed, we get some stuff. Uh, we don't have anything to destroy this currently. Yeah, we really have to be worried about the organized crime dropping this negative, but we've got some, some space for it right now. And this would just zero it out. This won't lose it. It's minus 20 in a resource for loss or three resources and negative, which is what these red alerts are for. I think zero is fine, so I can play the elementary school. It's got to be played in a green area, so it could be played there. Or there, but it wastes some interesting. All right, F it. Let's just put it down. Military school. Education. Education cards have been added to your deck. You lose one education per 10 people you gain. Works like a basic resource. You get in a red alert if it drops below zero. Oh my god. Underground management. Gain plus one power whenever you play a card that provides water this day. Huh. Preschool. More education. Um, that's interesting. So I could hold on to this until I'm ready to play my water well. I don't know, let's do that. Although my hand is way too full. Wait, another card? Oh, that's not actually going to go in my hand. Kind of want a police HQ here. Gain plus one um, education for each two upgrades that you own. Flip a coin. 
Well, theoretically, we have two upgrades because we did play a card that randomly upgraded. All right. Did it upgrade for each two upgrades? Is oh, upgrades is a card. There's a card called upgrades. I'm gonna take the police HQ. I really don't want organized crime to proc. I get it might be inevitable if we can play this, although we can't because it's way too freaking expensive. If we could play this, we would get enough officers to go and deal with organized crime. We do have 10 cards on hand now, so who knows what the limit actually works out to be. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll play underground management and oh, wait, this is something that provides water. I was confused about my fountain. It's the other way around. That's not good. Vice versa. So if we play a power card, we get water. I don't have a power card. Okay, I, this organized crime is effing us. I don't have a good move. At all. Like, even this to cycle the oil barrel, I don't want to because of organized crime. Yeah, so we didn't draw the card. Okay, now we know. I mean, I can afford to proc this once. Maybe, I guess I just shoulda. I can proc it one time. I can't play police execute too expensive. Otherwise, I 100% would and resolve organized crime instantly. I think if we get the next level, I'll have more money and then I'll be able to afford it. I can get something that destroys a card. I would like to destroy this oil barrel. Well, we might just play Skyscraper next turn. And as long as we don't do anything to cost us a force, we're going to be okay. There you go. We're going to do this. Minus two to our trouble count. Lots of pop. Oh, we're three shy from getting our level up. Yeah, I know. Fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, the drought's done, so I can play the fountain. Although that will send me negative and cost us the game. So let's not. <laughs> drought is over. Play the fountain. Yeah, except it would, it would, we'd instantly lose. So that wouldn't be great. Trailer park also costs us the game. Which is annoying because I want a plus one pop thing. Oh, you lose education for 10 pop as well. Yeah, but I mean, we got to grow our population. That's how we win, theoretically. And I don't know if they would. Yeah, they probably do go negative. Budge. Um, I want to draw a card. But I'm gonna have to play a card in my hand first. Looks like environment was important after all. Hush. Yes, okay. House. Here. That'll give me enough pop to level up. There you go. Nine money. Next turn, I can build the police thing. Whenever you gain an upgrade, get plus one money and plus one random resource. Whenever trouble meter reaches five, gain an extra buck. When Oh, whenever you place a building that costs water, gain plus one power. Yeah, let's take hydro power. We're going to end turn here. And now I can play the police HQ. Oh, wait, no, that'll lose us the game. Oh, no. No, 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 it's fine. I was, for some reason, I was thinking it was going to eat water. Leap power, but that's already negative. Um. I'm not a resident. Oh, no, that's a school. I don't think I can place this any. Oh, right here. Minus three trouble. Perfect. Police operations is remove organized crime. Oh! I can just play this to remove organized crime! 
without spending my officers, which means we can use the officers for something else. I think this is on its last turn. I think disease is about to go away. There we go. Organized crime is gone, so we're not going to lose any more random safety, although we had some. This is going to go away next turn, and our environment should go back to zero. Um, I don't have any money, so I can't play the trailer park. Although now I can cycle the oil barrel, since I don't have a convenient destroy card. Although... I don't have any money, so let's not bother right now. Fire station for more safety. Power, good. That goes away. We're back at zero, down to one alert. All we're missing is some power. I should be destroying roads. You think so? You think so, Kentos? Yeah, we figured that one out a little while ago. But do you, how am I going to destroy roads? Notice all the cards in my hand that let me destroy cards. If we, we know. Uh, we'll put us back negative over there, which is bad. Hmm. Time to play maybe the oil barrel. Ah, minus power. That's a lot of minus power. And again, this says in generate incinerate in our hand. Last time it didn't do that. We didn't have, although we did trigger another draw at the same time, so it might have screwed things up. Um, I'm assuming incinerates. Oh, I wonder if the oil, if we did generate one before, but it went into our discard. Hmm. Let's try it, because if this does let me trash things, that would be lovely. At the risk of going to minus 15 power. It's fine. It did do it. The skill had the wrong name. So you think it's new beginnings? So it generated new beginnings, which does destroy a card. Okay, so they probably renamed Incinerate to new beginnings at some point. Yeah, that is what happens. So now we have two of these in our hand, which is or in our deck, which is great to thin things out. Now, guys, get what? Guess what? Now we can destroy a road. <laughs> we can also destroy this double trouble, which is actually trash. So we should get rid of this because it's just as bad as a road that doesn't do anything except worse. Oh, I can't destroy it. Huh? Getting minus two crime. Um, I mean, it would overkill the trouble meter, but maybe that's fine. I know it leaves a, an untapped spot over there, but maybe that's going to be okay. I don't think there's anything to do with our last dollar. Next day. Okay, we need something that doesn't eat power, please. Just draw cards in hand. Let's draw three cards. I mean, maybe at some point we just go ahead and eat this, but and we're negative this again. Oh my god, all these cards are so bad. They're all so bad. Uh, we don't get a resource for destroying the road. We get a resource for discarding roads. Every single one of these are going to like... I guess I'll take the recycling center because we're already negative on those two. Now that's interesting. Of these cards, which ones am I happy enough to destroy? Well, honestly, both the fire station and the fountain would currently lose the game anyway. Maybe I should play down the house and then do the recycling center to blow up everything in my hand. I could play the underground management to keep it around. It's not going to do anything for us this turn. We're going to lose if we get a third thing in the negatives. Uh, it's gonna lead to some awkward road stuff. Maybe I just put this house somewhere random and maybe I put it here. We can maybe build a park in this area later. 
Yeah, I know education is low, but my people are dumb, can I say? All right, big ol' red area. Okay, that's really close in the power. Oh, the fountain, if it puts us back in the uh, positive for the green, yeah, we might be okay. Draw two random cards from the discard pile. Put out all fires or draw a card. Research, minus one officer, gain two random resources. Decrease the cost of cards in your hand by one. I mean, five is enough to deal with one disaster, which is nice, but... Seem pretty good. What's this? Destroy a card, add a crisis management to your hand. Gain plus one green. Okay, well, I don't... It can't destroy double trouble. I'm thinking these sorts of, um... I don't know, gunmetal grays? I don't know what we're calling this kind of color here. Greenish kind of colored cards. Um, I think none of them can be dis destroyed. I mean, we can check, because this one couldn't. Oh, these can't! Okay. That's a, That's weird. So, I mean, Double Trouble is clearly a bad card, which I guess kind of explains why you can't just choose to destroy it, but there's no symbol that makes it clear that that's the case. So I could blow up these, which might be worthwhile. Like, I don't have an upgrade card in my deck. So I don't think Efficiency Test does anything for us. So we could just choose to destroy it. Because it doesn't help. Wait, you think these are upgrades? Hold on a sec. So if we play this, are we getting at four education? Yeah, these are upgrades. Because didn't we have a card called upgrade? Shit. Okay, that's really good. Never mind then. All right. Um, these increase cost of your cards in your hand by one. I'm wondering. I can't play this right now anyway. How about I draw? and then increase the chance that I'll make a card cheaper. I think we'll do that. And I'm hoping it sticks around till next turn. I'm not going to play this right now. Maybe we can use this to blow up another one of our roads later. Still mad that I didn't realize I was generating more freaking roads. Okay, the park is kind of nice, and I don't think it needs to be next to a road. Oh, it's two by one. I'm going to say that'll be a nice place for it, but... Okay, it does have to be road adjacent. Uh, I think this is a good spot here, actually. Um, this is better. So this will generate a total of six. This would generate a total of eight. The park's getting one less because it's in a red area, but then it leaves some extra. We could put another little house in there, maybe. I think this is a good idea. Yeah, we need something that generates power. Okay, we're already negative on population. We'll make another condo hell over here. All right, I think I said negative on population. I meant negative on environment. Okay. I'm going to blow up that road. Well, unless we need it. definitely don't want these crises to pop. I mean, I could do this. Okay, I don't know if we need the road. Okay, I'm probably going to draw my card now, unless I think I'm going to play the laboratory. Yeah. Oh, which has to be placed on a green area, right? Which... Okay. It itself is not green. I know I didn't blow up the road, but tough patooties. I can still choose to play the trailer park somewhere. I think I will play it here. I mean, it sort of cuts off roads in an awkward way, but. Okay. We're going to get an event that gives us negative power. 
I can't play the high school. Now, the high school... Oh, doesn't even generate its own green area. Oh, that's too bad. We could blow it up, but... And a university! Negative power. Um... Yeah, okay. And a military school with negative power. Game, game, what are you doing? What are you doing, game? Oil well. Minus one environment, we're already negative there. Plus two oil, generates an oil barrel in hand, which I know does some things for us. Let me draw a card first. I was gonna say, we're looking for something that generates power for us. Um. I think I'm gonna blow up, well, the oil barrel. Or the oil well. Okay, we've got room for it. I'm going to go and do this because I don't know what crisis management is going to do. Crisis management. Discard two cards to play this. Remove a random negative condition. Destroy this card. Okay, that's really handy, especially if we get roads in here. And then, yeah, the negative condition. All right, we got two oil barrels. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, it generates another oil well, not another oil barrel. Oh. And if it get destroyed, it could go away to fixing some of our power problems. I think I'm just gonna end my turn here though. We could play the oil barrel to draw a card. And maybe, I know I should. We need to dig for power generation. You can get rid, you can right now get rid of the negative and win from double trouble. Yeah, but there's nothing forcing me to play double trouble, so. Small forest, don't mind if I do. Um, actually probably is a good idea to build it somewhere over here because it'll give us more green tiles to build our educational facilities. A surprise, it gave us some random water. Although now we're not sending an infinite water. It also gave us another one of those, which is okay. Minus power. You gotta spend this to play that. Statue of Solitude. This card is playable only if it's the only card in your hand. That feels like it's gonna be difficult for us to pull off. Um, that's a good point. It does feel like this fourth star, which might have been the resource one, still doesn't look like it got filled in, even though we clearly have four resources above one. Unless it really is just these four. This is our skip button, yeah. Um, I guess we could find out what happens. Oh, I think when you don't complete these, you get a red alert, which is not great. Okay, I'm going to take the revenue office. Because as long as we can generate two power, we can place this. Just not right now. I'm going to put the park down. stuff soon. I'm going to save this for when we actually get an event. I mean, I guess I can play the preschool. Needs a green area with road access. See, now we don't have roads. Okay, I'll put it there. Okay. Well, well. Where's all my coal power plants? Now I'm worried about the research. I need to save one of these to be able to play the revenue office. So we're good for now. Let's research now. Did it just give us two water? Minus one. No, we're going to have to, though. Um... This would give us negative into the green. Or 
Forget, I'm just gonna play the... I really want to get destroyed for power. Actually could use a little bit of roadage on a few different places. Negative environment. What could possibly go wrong? My hand full. That's actually really annoying. Uh, that would be a waste. Man, my hand is freaking full. I guess I play the oil barrels. Yeah, we're going to Crisis, which we can get rid of by playing Crisis Management, which is why I've been saving it. I guess I could have double trouble than done, done this just to clear up some cards. That's true, but but we're about to get the Crisis. Okay, run out of asphalt is actually fine. Not build roads that cost zero. That is 100% fine. Oh, you're right. I can double trouble this, double its duration. Yeah. Now, I could still burn it away with crisis management, and we might want to, but I don't feel like I have to right now. Oh my god. Lose power. Can't play the zero cost road. Fine, maybe, I guess, I don't know. But our hand's gonna be full. I think I've gotta play crisis management just to make room in my hand. Map's getting full, but if we place 15 more tiles, we actually get more space. Um, thanks UI. No, I'm going to discard these guys because they take a bunch of power, which I'm not going to have anyway. Oh, wait, if I discard the road, I get a random power, a uh, random resource. I forgot about that. It's been so long since we've taken advantage of it. Oh, my God, power. Maybe. Flip coin, give me more power. Yes, okay. That gives me enough that now all of a sudden I can play the revenue service and not lose the game. Oh, thank goodness. Here, this area is super polluted. Go there. I don't really need more cards. I think I might need the money. I don't know. Better adaptation to your hand and one to your deck. Discard a tra card. Draw two cards. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's play that. We'll discard the roads. It did not give me a free power, which is annoying. there but I guess it's gonna have to be okay um, I can keep playing oil wells oh because I don't have any money yeah. oh more badness again why we didn't trigger trouble is it on just a particular day junkard minus three when you place a bill or minus five it'll put me to minus three environment when you place a building you must discard a random card I don't like that Mineral mine, I mean, we don't have the power, but it's otherwise very dealable. Hmm. 
None of y'all are my power plants. Oh, I have hand space. Uh, is this going to put me not by itself? Oh, right. This is a condo that no one wants to live near. Um... You go here. That is not one of my power plants. Our deck's way too big. Possibly filled with too many roads. Well, we've trimmed some of them down. If I have a place for it, I could put down the oil well. I don't know if I want to do that though. I think I'm just gonna next day. Well, hold on, I got this one little dummy road. Let me put it here. There we go, that'll work. And then I'll put the oil well there. I keep rolling heads on that, which is generating more oil wells. Two more tiles and we do get extra space. I drew the double trouble. You are not power generation. Uh, you are right. We could uh, we could put it right next to the lake here. This is fine. An oil well next to a lake. Okay. Oh, it just grew up on one tile everywhere. Oh, so space is still quite tight. I thought it was going to be another block like the same size, but I guess the table is only so big. This is awful. Um, Let's play an oil barrel. Yeah, we're going to have to play these. Discard your hand, draw three cards. I think... Could play the oil well first, but I'm thinking of doing this before I spend money, because there's greater chance we might generate some power. So we gotta change the plans. Oh, it didn't proc the uh, road because the mineral mine stays in our hand. Okay, this is still not power regeneration. Um, can I play this? Can I go can I go negative? I wonder if that would lose us the game. I kinda wanna do it for science. It's not a resource. It's not one of these. So that can go negative. But it does not count as a red alert thing. Okay. And it did fix, uh, I think, our environment here at the same time. But it didn't fix our complete lack of power. Oh, we did get one net power, that's true. Which means I can play one of these if I wanted to. But I don't think I do. We still we still need to draw a power plant is what we desperately need more than anything else. Um, hydropower. When you replace a building that costs water. Oh, that's true. Although none of these cost water. So hydropower is not helping us here. Not right now. Yeah, we've got six turns to the mineral mine. We could play it this turn. I mean, we won't lose by playing it, but we're still okay. It does generate a ton of extra money, which is good. Hold on. If I play the residence, we will level up. Whenever you destroy a card, gain a power. Oh, hello. This might draw cards. Whenever you place a building that reduces gr the um, environment, 25% chance of generating an oil barrel. I'm going to take Trash Burner here and hope we can destroy some cards. Ooh, that is big. Oh. So minus one power brings us to 18. Two safety and zero on environment. So we're going to be fine. Oh, gain a green when you play four cards in a day? Reset trouble meter. Oh, shit. A little late now. Whenever reaches five, gain a... I'm going to take environment plans. 
upgrade. Gain 10 upgrades in a single run. Okay. Um, I could play the oil well right now. Or sorry, the the uh, water well. I can't. I can also play the oil well. And draw a card first. Ah. Discard the quarry. Reduce that by one. I don't think I'm in a small trade. You can see how I don't like small trade. The trouble meter is just too much of a problem. We're just generating unlimited oil wells. I don't know if we fail the coin flip on the oil well once. Did twice. Yeah, 600 pops a lot of pop. play this. Let me do this first. Industrial furnace. Now again, we're hurting for our roads. And just put it here. So it'll break us even on safety. I think I'll just draw a card for next turn. When you place this building, you must discard a random card. You play it for free. Oh, I'm sorry, we got a fire going on? When a building catches fire, the fire spreads to random adjacent buildings every two days. Buildings are destroyed after being on fire for a couple of days. Lose two random resources when a building is destroyed. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I don't like that we only have five turns to deal with the junkyard. I mean, we're hurting for power, but this also gives us the most amount of time to deal with it. Um, yeah, and it might be a couple of days to GG. Okay, troublemaker meter is empty. Let's small trade away the industrial furnace. Um, I'm thinking I might end up tossing this the uh, industrial water well as well, though it's nicely discounted. I know, I guess we'll do the, tell you what, let's do the oil well. None of this is helping. Yeah, well, the fire is going to be the same thing as everything else, right? Spend these points. This would instantly lose us the game. Yeah, I think that might be it for the uh, run here in a second. Destroying a road doesn't do anything. It's discarding a road that does something. Oh my god. Now we're getting able to destroy cards and we're not actually loaded with shit that's annoying. Now we're getting all of our roads. This deck shuffler is terrible. Cursed deck shuffler.
Oh, you're right. Destroy... Gets us power. Which will be fine, but I don't want to destroy anything. I do want to destroy things. I'm happy about the new beginnings. Like, I might destroy the bus stop, because I think that's too brutal. Oh, no card draw for us. We can't destroy the movie theater. You can't destroy the red cards. Be nice if you could. Oh, dang it. See, now what we want is we want all the oil barrels in our hand, play this gas station, destroy them all, which gets us a bunch of power, and then also gets us money from the gas station. But of course we don't. There's our cool power plant, finally. Not that it's going to help us. Because shit's on fire, yo. Wait, I thought it spread to nearby. To random adjacent buildings. This is not adjacent to this. I think it lied. I think it just spreads to a random building. There's <sighs> no way for us to win. This is going to kill us. Let's see how far we can get. All right. Um, you know what? Here, just build a random road over here. That's fine. Advance the trouble meter. Sure. Who cares about the trouble meter anymore? Let's build you there. Um, sure. You know what? We'll put this down too. Oh, gas stations are big. Well, I'll cost this pop. I want to end with a nice high population. All right. You're going to go there. You know what? Let's destroy. So yeah, I can't destroy the movie theater. We'll destroy that. See what happens. Yeah, I can build the movies now. Well, not anymore because I don't have the money, but. Cursed. All coin flips result in tails. Yeah. All right, screw it. Let's build the movie theater. Uh, I don't think it cares. It does have a pop boost. Oh yeah, so it does take advantage of that. Yeah. Hooray! Remove a random negative condition. Oh my god, maybe we can get rid of the fire. No! <laughs> it got rid of the coin flip one! <laughs> Dang it! Ah! I know, the police station won't save me. Oh, police? Does police operation save us? No. I think that, that just got rid of organized crime specifically. You might be able to play this, the Statue of Solitude. Yes, with the D6. Yes, they removed organized crime. Or gain plus one of the uh, security shields. I guess we could hold on to this for now. If we don't need the shield, and who knows, organized crime might come up. Um, I don't know if it's really condo. And, oh yeah, we're at negative 20 power. Oh, I didn't, I didn't calculate that. Oh, I guess it's negative. Oh, it's below negative 20. Negative 20 is fine. Everything, everything's fine, you guys. I don't know why you were even freaking out. Everything's fine. Do me a favor and don't generate a card. Of course you procced another oil well. I was trying to be able to play the uh, Statue of Solitude here. There you go. Now we can do it. Place the road. Lay this. Now I can play the Statue of Solitude. Uh, which I'm hoping, yeah, as I say, I hope doesn't need road access. Although, we don't need the minus one whatever here. We'll place it in here. Oh, and you can 
Root five stacks of disease. Oh, or plus one this day only. Mm. Gain. Wait. No, I think I gain a red alert. I like. Do I gain an extra capacity? But no. No, it bring us to two red alerts over here. But maybe I don't know. A fine. We'll take firefighting. <laughs> um, I could play all these to trigger this, but I don't want it to generate more roads. <laughs> I said I don't, I don't want to generate more roads. God damn it, game. I may as well play these right now. Laboratory. Add research tree deck. Yeah, it turns out the research cards, well, it'll keep eating this. I guess that's fine. And we're almost out of education. Oh, I'm, I don't have enough cash. All right, just draw another card then. Man, these laboratories are huge. Oh, yeah, it's got to be placed in the freaking green area. Ah. I guess there's no reason not to play the water tower. And yeah, I think yeah, the water tower can just go into these little internal areas. There you go. Everything caused power. <sighs> I just want to play the slums and end the game. Wait, what? Oh, I guess we're fine. Better adaptation? Discard a hand, draw two cards. Oh yeah, those are quite cool. The next day. No, oh, there's no reason. The Kids Science Festival is awesome. And I can discard a road, which will give me a random resource. Did I misunderstand the slums? Was it not giving me, like, a million negative everything? Did I really have that much to spare? I know, power's a minus 20. We're okay. We're not dead. I can't play the skyscraper. Minus 20 is apparently fine. Maybe hydropower saved us? Maybe switcheroo. Increase the cost of one random card in your hand, then swap its cost with a random card in your hand. What the hell is this? Wait, is this my win condition? I get 600. Project Launchpad Foundation. Minus four crime, minus 10 education. Get two random disasters, generate Project Launchpad scaffolding. So this is how we win. We go through this. And if I switcheroo. Oh, that worked out the worst. <laughs> I really wanted switcheroo to increase the cost of one of my roads and then swap the cost with one of the expensive ones. <laughs> what a shitty roll. I mean, we've got all the stars. I mean, leveling up, I think, still gives us some some choices to things here. Oh my God, it's awful. Um, I think I might just skip. I mean, we can we can afford sitting at minus one, but what if something else happens? I mean, I can play the skyscraper. Okay, I'm just gonna play this. Um, I don't physically have space to play this. Well, that's an interesting problem I hadn't considered. So this should lose me the game, right? Because uh, I'll go negative education, negative police. There we go. That lost this game. Or... I guess I have until the end of my turn to resolve this. That's good to know. The fact that we don't insta lose is good. 
I mean, we're still going to go and, and play it. Oh, this, yeah. Uh, scaffolding, gain two random disasters, add Project Launchpad Rocket. This, the end game here is insanely hard. That is an insanely hard end game. Oh, I can't even place you. That's fine. We'll play the, uh, we'll play the uh, condo now. We're going to go out with a bang. You know what? It's, uh, we're a uh, lame duck mayor right now. Uh, we're just going to leave some problems for the next mayor and, you know, we'll blame them for everything that goes wrong. I mean, we didn't lose on our term. We're just, we're just, you know, we're going to retire here. Okay. It's good. Game over reasons. Not enough electricity, education, or safety. Did we just unlock a bunch of new shit though? Oh, wow. We did add a bunch of new shit to our deck. Is there a place to find out what we've unlocked? That's what I tend to like in these uh, roguelites. So, oh, so we've unlocked Blessed Town. Trouble meter is locked to zero. Volt multiplier 0 0.2. I actually don't know what the votes do. Was that one of the things that was maybe progressed in the game somewhere along the way? That wasn't clear. Hold on. What happens if we mouse over these votes? The amount of votes you collected this mayor term. Score. Okay, so Bless Town is just going to give us a lot less score. Ooh, they have a wiki link built in. That's convenient. Okay, I like that. Yeah, so we just get less score. Oh, we start with different resources? Right, this starts X'd out. Hmm. Oh, we also got Town Tannic. Custom mode under construction. Town Tannic. Lose one random resource at the end of day. Vote multiplier 2.25, so you get a lot more points, but... Oh. All right, that is great. 